I flipped 50 things to see what kind of animals were living underneath. Cover objects like rocks give the animals somewhere safe to hide away from predators and gives them somewhere to stay at a stable temperature. To maximize my chances of finding something cool, I found things to flip in two different locations. And the first location I visited was this forest. Here's what I found. Under the first rock I flipped, I found a red salamander. These are one of the largest members of the Plethodontidae family. Which are the salamanders that don't have lungs? They frequently eat other salamanders in the same family. A lot of the things I flip have nothing living underneath. But for the rest of the video, I'm only going to include clips where I actually find something. And under this rock, I found a centipede. This one's darker than most that I find around here, which is pretty cool. I then flipped this stick and underneath there was another salamander. This is a two-line salamander. Their name comes from those two black lines that run down either side of its body. Living under the next rock, I found a northern ringneck snake. These are completely harmless. Even though they are technically venomous, their mouths are too small to really cause any damage. And the subspecies I have here doesn't even have fangs. Their bite has been compared to something similar to a bee sting. Like with everything I find, I put it right back under the rock where I found it. I found something sticking out from under this log, so I flipped it. This is a very vibrant long-tailed salamander. As their name suggests, they have a pretty long tail. It takes up about 60 to 65% of their body length. And this one was a little bit camera shy. I flipped another rock and found a tiny eastern fence lizard. And it wasted no time getting away from me. Underneath a decaying log, I found this salamander. It's likely a hybrid between a Jefferson salamander and the all-female unisexual Ambostoma species. That's a mouthful. Down in the grass, I found this woolly bear caterpillar. One day, it'll be an Isabella tiger moth. Under the next log I flipped, I found a tail sticking out of the ground. And it was this ravine salamander. Living underneath the next rock, I found this eastern milk snake. Their colors are very vibrant when they're still this young. They aren't venomous. They mainly eat things like rodents and other snakes. Definitely one of my favorite snakes here in Ohio. Under the next log, I found another one of those hybrid salamanders. There's definitely some blue spotted salamander genetics in there somewhere, which is why they look so similar. Walking along the road, I found this American giant millipede. They don't bite or anything, and they're always super chill when I pick them up. They're actually pretty common, but they're an impressive animal, so I always appreciate the chance when I get to see one. Underneath the next rock, there was another two-line salamander. And then after finding nothing for a while, I finally found this marbled salamander. These are mole salamanders, so they spend a majority of their time underground. But in the fall, they come out and migrate to their breeding grounds. Most other mole salamanders do this in the spring. Underneath the next rock, there was another two-line salamander. If you can't tell, these are very common. After that, I found another northern ringneck snake tucked up under a rock. These are pretty prone to musking, and this one did just that. While I was hiking around the forest, I felt something hopping around at my feet. And it was this fowler's toad. And this wasn't the only frog I found, because not too far from that was this gray tree frog, which happens to be green. I then caught this little brown skink. You can find these throughout much of eastern North America. This one hung out for a second but then left. I also found another lizard. This is a five-line skink. This is also one of the most common lizards found in Eastern North America. And the last animal I found at this location in the forest was this morning dove. I wasn't finding much while flipping things, so I hopped in my car and made my way to the next location. But while driving, I found this Eastern box turtle in the middle of the road. Remember to always move turtles in the direction that they were heading. This one's a female. My next location is this creek. I wanted to find some animals that were a little bit more aquatic. And underneath the first rock, there was a frog. This is a green frog, not a bullfrog. And I can tell by this ridge. Underneath the next rock, I found a bunch of these baby salamanders. At this size, they are kind of hard to identify. Underneath the next rock, I found this northern water snake. They aren't venomous, but they will not hesitate to bite you. This one wasn't that bad, definitely because it was pretty cold outside. Underneath the next rock, there was quite a bit of things. A few green frogs. One frog, two frog, three frog. And a handful of two-line salamanders. Flipping the very last thing, there was a third northern ringneck snake. This one might be my favorite though because of its size. It's so small that when I first flipped it, I thought it was just a worm. Welcome to the world, little guy. 